Can you guys see how annoying it is to not have a cameraman? I don't really care about this shot too much. But yeah, hi everyone. I just wanted to make this video saying basically thank you to all my fans, supporters, subscribers, friends, followers. Uh, I never thought I'd get to this point. Um, I've been working towards this for a while now. It's been on my wish list, my long-term wish list for a while. Everyone's already read the title of the video, so it's yeah, it's a package from Highsmith. So yeah, this um, this is the original model. It's the the base of the premium version, which you'll see in a sec. You'll you see this everywhere. But yeah, I just wanted to make this video as an unboxing video because I don't see many guys do unboxing or reviews of Highsmith products or sex machines in general. But yeah, let's just get into this because uh, I'm super excited. I ordered this two days ago, all right, because I knew I had family out of town. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna just order this now because I have money for it, two day shipping, and get it while my family <laughs> is out of town. So I don't have to fucking explain to them. Yeah, I bought a sex machine for $400 with my OnlyFans money. And yeah, this is also the first time a lot of people are hearing my voice. Uh, my voice is a lot manlier than what I present myself as. Obviously, I don't do that girl voice. I know a lot of, I know a lot of femme boys like doing that girl voice. So yeah, it actually says what it is on the box, which I didn't think it would, but I don't really care that much. Uh, I didn't have to sign for it, despite it saying that I had to sign for it. It says, uh, Highsmith Automatic Device Quick Lock System. Made in China. Uh, that's all it says. Like, if you didn't know what a Highsmith was, you would probably not be able to guess. Like, oh, this is a gigantic sex toy. But anyway. <sighs> okay. Hi, apples. She wants to check out what's in here too. So here we have, uh, I'm assuming a case. I've seen, obviously I've seen unboxing videos of these before, so I probably already know what to expect. Oh geez, it took me. Oh. Looks pretty nice. It's got, Little zipper that says Highsmith on it. Probably can't see it. I'm not moving the camera either. Hmm, okay. Alright, so we have. First off, this is a pretty nice case for it. Uh, it's just a foam pad in there. But it looks like this is the manual. Hmm. So I got the base version of it. Nice job, Apple. I got the base version of this, and I don't know if it has compatibility with the app. That's even possible. I'll have to check. Yeah. So I think there's a separate version that comes with app control, because it says right there app control version. Which I probably didn't get. Which sucks because I saw a video after I ordered this one about the app being pretty useful. 
um, if you don't want to constantly adjust the controller. But I didn't think of that. That's fine. I like how they have like an, a catalog of adapters. And they have like a catalog of their dildos too. Look at all those dildos. Holy shit, dude. What the fuck? Probably not great either. Now, that, another concern I had was lubricating it every couple months. It says here, lubricate the sliding rail with heat resistant gear oil periodically. We suggest every three months. Okay. So here we have the actual machine and then like there's some boxes I think in there too. Uh, let's get to the machine last, because I know like a lot of people do these unboxing, but let's get to the main thing last. Okay, I got a box here. This is the controller. Yep, it's the same OG controller I've seen in every porn video ever. It's pretty cool. I didn't know it was detachable, which will be actually pretty useful. Um, let's see what's in this box. This is the power cord. Self-explanatory, it's fucking huge. Last box, it's wrapped in something. So it's probably the dildo. A standard dildo with the click lock attachment on it. Uh, I don't think too highly of Highsmith's dildo attachments. Not the greatest thing ever, I'm sure, but who knows. Uh, I don't have any other attachments for this right now, so uh, this will be what I'm trying with it for the first time, obviously. But yeah, it feels nice. It's not, it's not dual density. It's not um, adjustable, bendable, there's no core to it, it's just a normal, uh, I hope, silicone dildo. So there's, th there's all the boxes, let's get on the main thing. Which here it is. Wrapped in something, and it looks like it comes with a case, too. Oh, what is this? It's just like a like a cover you put over the machine or something. And then yeah, that's it in the box, I think. Oh wait, no. I'm dumb. It obviously comes with the uh the metal parts. And then, yeah, it comes with these Allen wrenches to assemble it. And now that is it in the box. So I'm gonna put all this back and then I'm gonna assemble it. <sighs> okay. That was kind of annoying to get the fucking things on there. But yeah. See, the thing is, is my bed is too soft. Like, for it to properly sit on there, so I'm gonna have to figure out. Um, or maybe it'll sit just fine on my bed. Or maybe I'll put it on my desk next to my bed. I'll figure something out. Uh, I'm sure it'll be just fine though. So yeah, this is the this is the base of the premium version. There's no Bluetooth controller. There's no app. It's just it's just this box controller kind of sucks but like I said I don't know how often I would actually be using the app as well because I because I record on my phone so app might be useless anyway but I would have liked that Bluetooth controller that'd been pretty cool then I can just attach it. Apple get go I know yeah you gotta go
Got it, go. Go. Go, go, go. Hmm. I actually quite like that. But yeah, let's get it, um, let's get it running. Let's see how good it is. <coughs> but yeah, now I just plug in the controller and it should start working right. Uh, changing the, uh, the thrust length or whatever it's called. Let's just like turn into Max for now. Alright, let's see now. Oh my god. I think it's like six, seven inches of thrust. I am like shocked by this. I am in love. I've done anal for a little over 10 years now. Uh, I'm, I'm 25. Uh, so I've been doing it like all by myself since I started. Like I have really, I've really never had anyone to help me. So this is what's gonna probably changed my life. <laughs> All right, so thank you for watching. Um, like I said, just wanted to be a video about, um, first a voice reveal, um, a video that isn't me getting naked and sp spreading my asshole. Um, and as a thanks for everyone who has supported me. Uh, I haven't been here very long, but uh, the support has been, like, overwhelming. I've never had anyone talk to me, like, so much. And, like, I get messages from people all the time now. And, um, it's pretty crazy to me. How... Before this, I was like pretty much a nobody. I still am a nobody, uh, but at least I have this now. So yeah, thank you guys. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing more. Peace.